Hello Internet and welcome back to another video on the EJ Black YouTube channel. Today we are going to be using the Music Madness Bracket, to, which is a website where you can make brackets from the songs that an artist has available on Spotify. And we're going to be making brackets of those artists. So let's, let's give this a shot. The, there he is, title the creator. Alright, so I think how it works is it picks the top 64 songs. So I guess we'll go through and see which ones I like more. Domo 23 is a great song, but I think that she, with Frank Ocean's vocals, just really, it's like, even though the subject matter is obviously very dark, they managed to make it like emotional and relatable, even though you shouldn't relate to it, you know? So I think I'm going to have to pick she for this one. Garden Shed is an easy win, I don't even think I need to explain that. Mama Talk is a nice interlude, but I think, you know, Jamba's obviously more of a song, and so I think that one should win this round. Gone Gone Thank You, everything off Igor is a masterpiece, every single song, and Gone Gone Thank You is just, yeah, it's something else. I think that Safari is a great outro, so I think I'm gonna have to put that. As much as I really love November, even though Okra isn't on an album, as a single, as just a song on its own, it's really, really good. It shows fantastic rapping skills from Tyler the Creator, and even though it's a really simple song with a really simple beat, I think it shows the talent that Tyler has. Pothole is an easy win, just everything from Flower Boy on has this really ethereal sound, and on Pothole I think it really comes through, especially with the way that Jaden's vocals works on the chorus. So Sweet I Thought You Wanted To Dance is probably the best song off Call Me If You Get Lost, um, and so I think that's easily going to beat 435, but I think that I think that this is going to be like one of the ones that gets to the final round, because it's just that good a song. IFHY is really really good. I especially love how like weird the film clip is with all the makeup on Tyler's face and whatnot. But I think Are We Still Friends is like a perfect outro. It almost reminds me of Frank Zappa in the way that it's soloing at the end. I think that Are We Still Friends is just gonna have to go through. Find Your Wings is a really beautiful song, especially with the really good female vocals. But running out of time, again, it's off Igor, it's just something else. Earthquake is a little bit overplayed, and I do really like Smuckers, but even though Earthquake is a little bit overplayed, I still think it's a great song in its own right. It's a shame that See You Again and New Magic Wand are going up against each other in only the first round, because this could be one that like gets to the finals, um, but New Magic Wand obviously has to win, it's just it's so aggressive and so powerful. Who That Boy is definitely a more catchy song, but in terms of what works best with their respective album, I think that Eagle's theme hits more, and I also think it's a more entertaining song in its own right. Alright, What's Your Name vs Puppet? Puppet is a great song, it's one of the best off Eagle, which is already a fantastic album, but What's Your Name, probably my second favourite song of Call Me If You Get Lost, manages by just a small margin to get in front. Wilshire is a great song, especially for the story of the album, but it's a little bit long and it doesn't have a lot going for it, it's just a beat with Tyler rapping over it, whereas Run It Up has that typical style where Tyler's doing a lot with the music and the instrumentals as well as his vocals. Best Interest was a single that should have been on Igor, it was really good, but it wasn't because, I mean, for whatever reason, Tyler didn't put it on. I think that it's a great song though, I think it's even better than What's Good, um, and I think it would have made Igor a better album. So Party Isn't Over, Campfire Bimmer is one of the songs off Wolf that is like, it's fantastic, it's not even Wolf quality, it's like beyond that. However, even though it's a fantastic song here, um, Fucking Young is, uh, it's hard because Fucking Young in musically is a really really good song, but content wise it's a little bit strange, but I think it manages to win because even though Fucking Young was off Cherry Bomb, it still has a very Flower Boy vibe to it. And so I think, yeah, it should win this round. Death Camp vs Forward, Forward's gonna win this one. Forward is a perfect intro to that album, it couldn't be better, especially with the guitar playing, the um, sample that he flipped, it's a fantastic song. Juggernaut is one of the few songs on Call Me If You Get Lost, it might even be the only song that I just don't really like. And so, even though I don't really like the intro to the album a lot, um, I still think it's better than a song that I don't like, so. Um, Enjoy Right Now Today is a great song, but Answer, especially as I said early in his career, it's just something else. So, Answer's getting this one. Sometimes it's a really good interlude, but that's really all it is. It's nothing big, I, it's nothing big or grand or really catchy, unlike I Think, so um, I Think is obviously going to win this round. Wolf the single is another good intro to Wolf the album, just like Forward was to Flower Boy, but Boredom is... The statement that it was for Tyler along with Garden Shed, as well as like the musical feat that it was, I think it deserves to win over Wolf. 
All right, She vs. Garden Shed, I mean, look, she is a great song, especially for Goblin standards, but Garden Shed, obviously. Um, Gone Gone Thank You vs. Jamba, it's gonna be Gone Gone Thank You. Okra vs. Safari, that's an interesting one, because these are both songs that I don't have super strong feelings about. Um, I'd probably give it to Okra, but by a narrow margin. Uh, Pothole vs. Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance. It's gotta be Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance. Both halves are fantastic songs on their own. If they were split into two songs, it'd probably be the two best songs on the album. And so together, it's just, it's unbeatable. Are We Still Friends vs. A Boy Is A Gun? Oh, this is a hard one, but I think it's gotta be Are We Still Friends. That outro, it's just a perfect, not only is it a great song, but it's also a fantastic outro to the album. And so I think it gets a narrow margin there. I Ain't Got Time versus Running Out of Time, <laughs> that's a pretty funny matchup. Um, but we're probably gonna give it to Running Out of Time, yeah. I still like having a little bit of that time left. Uh, Earthquake versus New Magic Wand, New Magic Wand is one of the best off that album, so it's gonna be New Magic Wand, no doubt. Potato Salad vs. Eagle's Theme, um, hmm. Potato Salad is a really catchy song, but Eagle's Theme, again, I'm thinking in context of the album, not just the song itself. And they're about the same quality in terms of the song itself, but in terms of the full album experience, Eagle's Theme just takes the whole album to another level, especially with Are We Still Friends outro, um, having that unresolved note that then resolves over with Eagle's Theme intro. It's just, it's really creative stuff, and so I think that in context of the album, Eagle's Theme has to win. Group B is a great single, but Glitter's obviously gonna have to take this one. As I said, I like fucking Young, it's a little bit strange in lyrical content, but I think Best Interest has to be that Best Interest, even though it's a B-side of Igor, if you want to call it that, Best Interest is just, it's... I love the vocal effects that he uses and how catchy the instrumental is. Forward's gonna have to take over Where This Flower Blooms, again with the logic I used for um, Potato Salad vs. Igor's theme. It's just, it's a... they're both around the same quality in terms of the song itself, but Forward, in terms of that full album, it's, it's something else. Ints is gonna have to win here because, well, for a wolf song especially, it's just, it really hits that emotion. These are two fantastic songs and it's really, really hard to pick between them. I think is a really, really catchy song, um, as well as being really important to the album. Boredom is a really catchy song as well as being important to the album, but I think Boredom manages to win out just by a narrow margin because of that ethereal feel that Tyler manages to capture, and I think Rex Orange County had a big part in that as well. I Don't Love You Anymore is obviously going to win over Blessed. I mean, Blessed is a, Blessed is kind of just an interlude, but I Don't Love You Anymore is like a full-fledged song, so. 9-11 Mr. Lonely, I think that's going to win. It's, yeah, another really, really catchy one that also manages to have that really cool ethereal quality. Alright, Garden Shed vs Gone Gone Thank You, both fantastic songs. I know that Garden Shed was made, I think it, the beat was made in Cherry Bomb era, which is really crazy. But um, yeah, Garden Shed's obviously gonna have to win, because what can, what can you say about Garden Shed really? Um, Okra vs Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance, Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance, that's an easy win. Um, there are some, there are some songs I'm just realising that even though they're going up against hard songs, they're just, it's not even hard decisions for me because they're such great songs. Are We Still Friends versus Running Out of Time? It's gotta be Are We Still Friends. Uh, New Magic Wand versus Eagle Steam. Um, I really like Eagle Steam, but if you take... In context of the album, they both work about the same. But if you take out Eagle Steam and out New Magic Wand from the album, and just listen to them as individual songs, New Magic Wand is definitely a better song. It's more catchy, it's more danceable. And I saw Tyler live a couple weeks ago, and that was one that you couldn't help but sing along to. It was crazy live. Alright, What's Your Name versus Glitter. Tyler the Creator does think that it feels like Glitter, but I think we're gonna have to go with What's Your Name, just because, I mean, it won a Grammy for melodic rap, so if that doesn't say something about how, like, catchy the melody is, then what does? Best Interest versus Forward. I think, even though Best Interest is a single, um, it's made it pretty far, but Forward's gonna have to beat it finally. Um, yeah, the guitar work on Forward, the sample on Forward, it's just, it's a fantastic song. Answer versus Boredom. Um, it's gonna be Boredom narrowly though, because Answer is a really fantastic song. Not just in context of Wolf, I've said that a couple times, but even if it was on Flower Boy, I think it's quality. I think it would have a different feel to the rest of Flower Boy, but it's still Flower Boy qualities. I Don't Love You Anymore versus 911. Um, I really do like I Don't Love You Anymore. It's a big emotional, um, 
It's a big emotional breaking point for the album and Tyler's vocals just go crazy, but sometimes you just gotta let that catchiness win and 911, its danceability is what lets it win over I Don't Love You Anymore. Garden Shed vs Sweet, I Thought You Wanted To Dance. That's really hard. This might have been a final two matchup for me. Um, man. I think that they're both the best song off their respective albums. Um, and I do like Flower Boy a tiny bit more than Call Me If You Get Lost. But do I like in terms of the individual song? The transition between Sweet and I Thought You Wanted to Dance as well was amazing. The fact that Tyler manages to imitate these genres so well even though he's not a part of them is really fantastic. The synth solo on I Thought You Wanted to Dance is great. I know I'm giving a lot of praise to Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance, but just thinking about Garden Shed, it's like not only in terms of Tyler the Creator and his sexuality, but in terms of the ability Tyler has to make this like incredible build up with all the atmosphere that goes along with it. I think it's, oh man, this is hard. You know what? I think I've decided it's gonna be Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance. Narrowly, really narrowly, because Garden Shed is a fantastic song, but Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance, I don't know, I can't even quantify in words why I think it's better, I just, it's got that narrow edge over Garden Shed. Are We Still Friends versus New Magic Wand? Alright, so again these are both fantastic songs, um, in terms of the album they're great, but also if you took them out of their albums they would still be great singles on their own, but I think New Magic Wand is going to beat it just because it's as I said before, it's electric, it's got that quality that Are We Still Friends doesn't really have, where it's a great song and it's great in context of the album, but New Magic Wand has that danceable quality to it. Um, and not to say that danceability is always more important than its emotional impact, uh, but I think that the danceability of New Magic Wand carries it over Are We Still Friends. So not in every case danceability is better, but in this specific case it is. Um, What's Your Name versus Forward, again two fantastic songs, um, I think it's gonna be What's Your Name because even though like Forward is great in almost every way, the melody of What's Your Name just manages to beat it out and especially I love, I haven't mentioned this yet, I love the sample that he used, um, the fact that it was an older hip hop song that he flipped and the fact that I noticed because I like to try and reproduce songs to learn how to use different synthesizers and stuff and the way when he flipped the sample he used some parts from the instrumental version and some parts from the actual original song which I think is like crazy creative so yeah what's your name is gonna win over forward boredom versus 911 mr. lonely ah uh huh okay so I think that if I think about both of these songs again you can see a little bit where um, the two songs manages to get pretty far because it's got an advantage of having two different sections and even though they do work really well together they would also be able to stand on their own and so I think 911 might be suffering from a little bit of that but also 911 on its own is really catchy and so is Mr. Lonely but I think Boredom's gonna beat it out because it is just one song like it's one single idea but it works so well on its own it doesn't need help from anything else like 911 Mr. Lonely benefits from all right, we're down to the final four. We've got Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance, What's Your Name, New Magic Wand, and Boredom. Um, between Sweet and I Thought You Wanted to Dance, um, I think it's gonna have to be Sweet. Cause as much as I love New Magic Wand, while I was thinking about Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance for this one. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic song. And I mean, I love New Magic Wand in a lot of ways. But Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance, it's like 10 minutes and it doesn't manage to get boring, even though it is two songs that are both like five minutes. But everything about it, it's just a fantastic song. Isn't it interesting that Igor hasn't made it this far, even though Igor is my favourite title of the Creator album? I think it's just because a lot of Igor works because of how cohesive a unit it is, whereas a lot of the songs on other albums stand purely on their own and they don't necessarily need the rest of the album, so that might explain it. Um, what's Your Name versus Boredom? Um, I think it's gonna have to be What's Your Name because you look malnourished, as Tyler the Creator would say. So we're down to two songs, both off Call Me If You Get Lost. Isn't that interesting? I would not have, I would not have expected that. I mean, it is the only Tyler album I have on vinyl. Um, but yeah, isn't that interesting that both of the last two are Call Me If You Get Lost? 
when that's not even, that's my third favorite Tyler album. But I guess these songs just stand so well on their own. Um, Sweet versus What's Your Name. What's Your Name is fantastically melodic. It's got a lot going for it. But Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance, even though what I said about 911, Mr. Lonely, where they've got two songs merged, and so that does help it, both of these songs on their own would be the best song on the album, as I said earlier. And so Sweet gets to beat What's Your Name by a narrow margin, but it wins overall. And so as the bracket says, my favorite title of the creator track is Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance. Um, now when I started this video, I was expecting to do more than one bracket. I thought it would be much quicker to go through, um, and it was not. I might record more bracket videos in future because I did have a lot of fun with this, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to be doing it in this video as I originally expected. So in any case, I will say, I hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye, internet.